Hi guys, it's Brevoice here and welcome to the channel. And in this video, we'll be showing you guys how to implement segmented control, which will allow you to switch view uh, according to the index that you select in the segmented control. So here, first is the first view and the second view, the first view and the second view. And that's it, I'm just gonna start now. Xcode, new project, single view application. I'm just gonna call it segmented control switch view next create let's go to Mendel storyboard first I'm just gonna add the navigation controller this is just to set the title nothing to do with the segmented control I'm just gonna name it uh, segmented control switch view next let's uh, add a segmented control here Next, let's search for UI view, right there. Here you go. And just click the whole view controller here and add the constraints. Next, let's uh, make the connection. So go to the assistant editor here and control and drag the segmented control right here and change from outlet to action. I'm just going to name this action switch view action and change the type from any to UI segmented control. Connect. And next, we're going to make the outlet connection from this view. So, control and drag this view to view controller. I'm just going to name it view container. Connect. Next, we are going to set up the first view and the second view. So, I'm just going to right click here. A new group I'm just gonna call it simple VC right click on this folder new file Cocoa touch class and it's a subclass of uh, UI view controller I'm just gonna name it simple view controller one also I'll create XIB file next create and I'm just gonna create the second one right away so do it again for the second one simple View controller two. Great. Let's go over to the XIB for the first one. Uh, close this one first here. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna set the color to be green, and that's it. And the color for the second one will be yellow. Okay. I'm gonna save the XIB file, and also here. And that's it, we're done with our simple view controller here. Let's go back to view controller. So we are going to add two of our view controllers. So we're going to create attributes called simple view one, which is type view, not view controller. Be careful, okay? And this one is the second one. And then we are just going to initialize it here. So simple view one will be equal to simple VC one. We're going to create the object and just get the view out of it. So that's it. We're going to do the same for the second one. Okay. And then we're just going to add these two view to our view container. So here view container dot add sub view simple view two. I'm just going to do it for the first one as well right here. Next, let's implement uh, the switch view action here. So I'm just going to make the switch case. So switch here. So the parameter here is the sender dot selected segment index. So if it's the first one, which is index zero, then we are just going to bring up the first one. So view container dot bring sub view. And we are going to bring simple view, the first one up. And then just exit the case here and just copy and do the same for the second one so case one just gonna bring up the second view and that's it let's see here we go so the first one is the green one and the second one is yellow so it's just really perfectly working here all right 
but I would like to improve our application here because you can see there's uh, two more attributes and you know you just like flood up the memory so I'm just gonna create just one array so I'm just gonna co um, comment these two I'm just gonna create an array called views which is the type array of view here and actually in view did load here I'm just gonna create views be equal to UI view initialize here first and then we are going to append the view to views here so dot append we are just going to create simple view controller here here you go and also do the same for the second one yeah, we pretty much forget about this too here and since we've got the array we can just do the for loop so for v in views and then we're just gonna say view container here keep adding sub view which is this v so v here is an object that we will iterate to the views array here very simple actually I'm just gonna delete what we don't need and next we need just to bring the first one to the front so view container here dot bring sub view the first one up and next we can just delete the whole switch case here and just add one more line of code which is self dot view container here dot bring sub view views and we can access it by this sender dot selected index actually I forgot s here all right and that's it I'm just gonna run the application and that's it I think everything works the same except the code I think it looks a lot better than the last one yeah and uh, that's it guys thanks for watching to the end of the video if you find this video helpful please leave a like or subscribe and if you have any question or any suggestion you can just leave them down in the comment section below and everybody let's just keep coding and we'll see you guys in the next one